Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical back at tabletop number two with the promised video of the update to my EDC. So I did the EDC, you know, tabletop pocket dump kind of stuff. That was the first video. The second video I did showing you it on my body and how I actually carry it and where I carry it and typically, you know, how I'm rocking it, what I'm wearing type of deal. And then lastly, but certainly not least, um, we've got the EDC bag. So this bag, I literally take with me every single day of my life. Um, you know, house to the car, car to work, you know, work back to the car, back to the house, run into the gas station. This thing is at least in the vehicle with me. Um, if I'm going on like an extended place, you know, whatever, um, walking real far from the car, I'll typically just be wearing it if it's acceptable to do so. Um, so, that being said, Milspec Monkey Adapt Pack, okay? It's uh, part of the Tactical Tailor. Um, let me spin that around, actually. Tactical Tailor, Milspec Monkey Collaboration. That's the bag. Um, excellent bag has held up for many, many years for me. And um, I like it a lot. I like the color, the gray color. Um, you know, everybody is rocking the gray stuff now. Um, I liked it back in the day before it was cool. Just throwing that out there. But it is a good looking pack. Um, got a little 3D printed carabiner here uh, from my buddy Drew. Shout out Drew for that. You know, just flag patch on the panel. You know, keeping it simple. Um, still looks like a tactical bag. You know, I got shit hanging off of it, whatever. I got the flag patch. You can see the molly, but it's a little bit more subdued, especially because of the color um, than some other types of packs out there. You know, simple, simple two compartment bag. Um, you've got the side concealed carry area, which is Velcro lined and backed. And sometimes I do utilize that depending on, you know, what gun I got, what I'm wearing, where I'm going. And then they got the large compartment. And then as well, the back compartment that you can hang a bladder. So just a little quick overview of the bag so you kind of know what we're working with. I'm pretty sure that I already have a complete review of this bag by itself. Check that out, search that. I'm not 100% sure. If I don't and there is demand, I will review this bag, but I kinda already just did. And uh, you guys are gonna see what's in it right now. So, standard configuration. This is, you know, my normal, all the stuff that I carry on my person regularly, and then plus this. So this is, you know, tertiary to that. Um, you know, it's, it's the backup plan, or it's just a refill, a reload, whatever, you know, on gears. Uh, gears on, on guns, ammo, and gear. So, first, outer pocket. It is accessible from either side. Okay, so you got dual zippers. Whether you're you know right, left-handed, whatever, you can access the the compartment. Especially since this is where, in theory, you would put a gun. Now, I again, like I said, I have utilized this with a Velcro back style holster, a proper one, not a junky one. Put it in there with a gun, couple spare mags, set it up, and I've practiced with it, and it's actually not that bad. Uh, if you have to carry off body, something like this, the only thing that goes in here is gun, spare mags, or, you know, speed loaders in my case, and, um, you know, stuff like that. You don't put a bunch of extra junk in there, but it can be done, and if that's what you're relegated to as far as your mode of carry, at least you have it with you. So there's that. So typically... Um, this is for my snub nose, my reload pocket. So I've got a bunch of spare ammo in here. Um, so first off, little pouch that I could actually put on and wear if need be. You know, bug out situation, whatever. I got my bag. I got a hike home. I could put this on my on my belt because I'm always going to be wearing a belt most of the time. And uh, in there, I got two HKS 36A speed strips or not strips loaders, excuse me. Um, with some ammo in it so there's another 10 shots for my snubby which you know hate me for it whatever um i love a snub nose it's a great gun and i always carry one it always gets a job done so you know 10 shots in this package when this is the same size as like a glock 19 mag even smaller and you can get 15 i get it i'm a wheel gun guy hate me for it um so that does mean that i do have to carry a lot of ammo so here's another five shots um Here's another six shots, okay? What else we got? Another five shots. And a whole nother box of ammo. So, you know, this is this is EDC, right? Okay, it's everyday carry. And, um, you know, again, this isn't even a lot of ammo per se. Uh, it's a lot of reloads uh, to be carrying around. But again, it's on, you know, off body. It's in my bag. 
and um, considering the capacity of the revolver, you know, this really ain't that much. So, you know, what do I got? 5, 10, um, 20, 6, plus I think this isn't a full box. This has got a, oh, there's a couple of them in there. So, I, that's a mag plus a reload on a Glock 17 is what I got in all this. But again, wheel gun guy. And uh, it's cool. I like it. But I have all this extra ammo because, you know, if I do car breaks down or you know shit hit the fan you never know and that's why i like having a bunch of stuff with me because then i'm always at least somewhat prepared for most anything um having some spare ammo is not a bad idea so that's what is in this first pocket out here for you know the concealed carry pocket and uh i like it it, it works for my purposes then um main compartment got a bunch of goodies in here bunch of bunch of goodies so first of all i am not a rioter or a looter or a peaceful protester um but when times were looking pretty bad and they still are depending on what part of the country you're in um you know i'm out by chicago so tear gas was being thrown and if i had to get somewhere or get away from somewhere i want to be able to do that proficiently and without you know crying and hacking up a lung so gas mask you know, it's weird in 2020 that we got to walk around with these things in our EDC bags, but be that as it may, you know, that, that's how it is. So again, not military grade or anything crazy, um, but it's going to work for my purposes. So there's that. Um, inside of there, little admin pouch. So this is a 511 admin pouch, and uh, inside of it, I've got my lighter, waterproof matches, Rick Hinder investigator pen, pencil, bandana and a write and rain notepad um this is kind of just you know got to jot something down got to wipe some sweat i mean there's a million and one uses for a, a bandana like that some fire starting capabilities signaling capabilities um good solid pen fisher space pen cartridge a pencil which you could sharpen with a knife if it came down to it different stuff like that and i like these little pouches because for one you could put them on the inside you could put them on the outside with the molly uh different stuff like that but for a bag like this which is just completely open we'll get to this guy in a minute there's not really a bunch of individual uh compartments and pockets and sleeves and stuff like that you kind of have to build it out with this and organize your kit in some fashion. And I think this, you know, pouches like this are a great way to do it. And then two, you could have them different colors, different shapes, different sizes, different companies, and that could, de you know, delegate. Okay, gray ones are admin. Um, flat dark earth ones are, you know, tools. Red ones are obviously going to be medical. Hopefully, um, stuff like that. So. It's a useful tool, yes, it costs a little bit more money in the long run to get a bunch more tiny bags to put in your bigger bag, but it works for me. Um, so, you guys saw that. Next up, okay, this is a Maxpedition one. It is Coyote or Flat Dark Earth. And inside of here, I got some spare batteries. Uh, recharge your phone, the vape, the whatever, your computer. Um, I don't know if this will do a computer, but it'll definitely do a phone a few times. Um, some spare CR123As. Uh, more batteries back there, more batteries and cables in there. So this is my electronics pouch. Being just a regular dude with a phone and then a regular dude with a YouTube channel, I'm always on my phone. And so being able to charge it back up real quick uh, when I need to, that works for me. So there's something in there. Here is uh, the Lynx, uh, Lynx Defense Ankle Medical Kit. You guys have seen this before. Um, recently it's all dirty and grimy and gringy because I actually wear it all the time. Um, lately, when I'm wearing shorts every day in the summertime, it's really awkward to wear this. So I've just been keeping it with me in the bag. And again, 90% of the time the bag is within arm's reach of me and the other 10% of the time it's in the vehicle less than 100 yards away. So it's accessible. Um, not only do I carry medical for myself, I carry medical for other people. You're more, you know prone to get into a car wreck than a gunfight uh, and so are other people so being able to save a life which you're more likely to do than take one uh, carrying medical is a pretty good idea and then on top of that you have it for your dumb ass when you get into a bad situation so medical i got tourniquets tension pneumothorax um, decompression needle sharpie gloves plastic bags gauze more tourniquets and, and this is a, a you know a combat trauma style kit 
um, that I can wear just on my ankle when I'm rocking pants. But like I said, summertime, it's going in the bag. Um, actually, let me start getting this stuff out here. Clear some way. Because um, we do have a lot of stuff in here. Um, here is my Adventure Medical Kit, First Aid. Um, bought this, and I forget where, I think online somewhere, and then I added to it. So inside of this, this is my main boo-boo kit. Um, gauze, gloves, super glue, band-aids, aspirin, bug bite stuff. You know, I got some hand sanny, okay? Ooh, hand sanny. Um, more super glue. I even have camp soap, people. I have camp soap. This is pretty cool stuff. It actually does work. I've got, you know, more band-aids, little things. I got a SWAT T in there. It's not the best tourniquet, but it is a tourniquet, and it's one of the easier ones to apply. Um, simple stuff, you know, just redundancy. I got tweezers, little stuff that if there's a problem, you know, small to medium, I could probably even take care of it with this right here. Um, and then plus the Lynx Defense Ankle Med Kit. So, you know, this is my boo-boo. You know, we're not, we're not going to the doctor. We throw some dirt on it and get over it. Uh, that's this kit, and then the uh, the Lynx Defense is, is next level. Um, but they're both always with me. Um, on the inside, in this this pocket right here, it's like a little bungee pocket. It's the only two pockets in this pack. They're mirrored. Um, on this side, I just keep mechanics gloves in there. Okay, these are good gloves. They're inexpensive. They work. They're durable. They're durable enough. Um, you know, running an AK at the range, something's hot, you got to work, you know, you're working on the car, whatever, you're cutting stuff, you're bushwhacking, whatever you got to do. Um, pair of work gloves is good to have. There's obviously better versions of mechanics gloves. I have those as well. These are just been stuffed in the packs since day one. So a good pair of gloves uh, can go a long way um, protecting you and, and getting the job done. So on the opposite, opposite side here in this pack, um, I keep a little Kimber Pepper Blaster, okay, so yeah, it's in case I don't get raped, right, um, but these things are actually decent, and, um, you know, they, you shoot them like a gun, kind of, there's the safety, put your, you know, your finger through there, and then you could squeeze it, um, but it's got the little safety, so it's safe to just be chilling in that pocket, uh, it's ergonomic, it's got a set of sights on it, I've got a previous review on this, um, it feels good, and it does give me an option, okay? So instead of even going fisticuffs, not knowing what they might pull um, at a distance of, you know, 10 to 15 feet, I could spray them with this and hopefully take care of the situation. And that way I don't have to go to, to, to hands, blades, guns, whatever. So this gives me another layered option to my self-defense, and I think that's always a good idea. So I always have it with me sometimes. I actually carry it on my person where there's space because obviously that's going to be um, a better option as far as being able to use it but I at least always have that option on hand and then furthermore a little bit of a step up um, <laughs> this is my cold steel uh, XL Voyager the Bowie or buoy however you want to put it and uh, this thing's just a beast so I, I EDC this and carry it in my pocket a lot of times but um, this is this is a big this is a pocket sword okay so I could chop down a small tree with this if I had to I could baton with this if I had to I could definitely use this in self defense you get a lot of reach a lot of blade and um, it's just a good lightweight strong durable tool for the right price uh, to have laying around so this can be anywhere from self defense to opening a can of beans to chopping wood for a fire to whatever this is a good solid survival folder in my opinion um, and that rides in there so no matter what I've always got a folder bear in mind you it's an obnoxiously large one but I've always got a folder just in case I forget one of the 17 that I keep on me <laughs> on a daily basis um, but yeah and then what else do we got in there boom NIJ uh, 3A soft armor so that sits perfectly um, in here against my back and I can use it as armor, obviously, if I'm, you know, excavating myself from a bad situation, wearing it on my back, or I could flip the, uh, 
the bag around, wear it on my chest, use it as an impromptu vest, or hold it up like a shield or whatever I have to do. But this gives me protection up to a 12 gauge slug. If they've got an AR, an AK, or whatever, I'm Swiss cheese. But most of the common threats, this will stop. It's thin, it's light, it's bendy, it conforms, and it works perfectly for me. So there's no reason. Plus, it was very inexpensive. I think this was $100 or less. Um, and it's certified, it's ready to go, and, and it's going to go right in there. And, and it works. It works great for me. Now, thankfully, I mean, technically, I guess I don't know if it works because I haven't gotten shot yet. But thankfully, I haven't. Um, but having something like this on hand in case you do find your ass in a bad situation, not a bad idea, people. Not a bad idea. What do I have behind there? More medical. Okay, this is a chest seal. Um, you can replicate these in the field. It's kind of messy. You got to have like plastic bags and tape and different stuff like that. It is better to have something. You know, same thing with tourniquets. Oh, I could improvise a tourniquet with my belt until you try and do it and you don't have enough holes and then it's an issue or it doesn't it's not going to work people it's better to have the actual stuff on hand so um this you know gunshot serious stab wound or impaling or something like that uh this is going to come in real handy and they're cheap enough they lay flat enough they're you know hermetically sealed or whatever they're good to go so there's that um and then the last thing that I have in this bag, and we can give you a quick little look inside the bag. You guys can see that it's, you know, there's nothing to it. Um, just open with the two little bungee pockets, which also fit a Nalgene perfectly. And, uh, you know, a couple other things, but very useful bag. I like it a lot. Um, here's another Maxpedition pouch. This is kind of like my tool pouch. Again, Molly compatible. You know, you put your name tape, whatever. This is the laser cut, the AGR, I believe it is. Um... And then in here, this one actually completely clamshells. And in here, I got some tools and some more like survival-y kind of stuff. Um, space blanket, poncho, you know, shelter, people going to shock, it's raining, whatever. Um, more I light my fire. This is a great, absolutely great blade. Um, super sharp when you're crafting bushes. You can, um, I'm going to start the whole place on fire right now, but you can, you know, make a spark with it it's the light my fire edition and uh, survival that's going to work you know in the rain or whatever uh, it doesn't run out of fluid necessarily like a lighter does so plus they're super light you could use it defensively if you had to these things have been um, batoned with you know it's possible even though it's a rat tail tang more they're cheap enough you need to have a thousand of these things and put them everywhere they're they're perfect um Here's the Gerber Pry Brid. So this is just like to save if I am in some kind of crazy situation or I just need a box cutter. You know, that happens too sometimes. Um, I could save the blade on my cold steel or whatever I got in my pockets. Um, it also has some cap lifting abilities, some pry bar, you know, utility, stuff like that. And uh, that's pretty cool. And then I do have, um, you know, a bunch of, a bunch of, well, there's some batteries. Um, a bunch, oh, that opened up and that could be really dangerous. A bunch of spare blades I almost just cut the shit out of myself that would have been horrible um, yeah so this back here batteries um, spare blades different stuff to accompany um, my tools I got a little FN lens wipe in there for the camera the phone optics whatever um, in here you never know you never know people that is some go juice in a little container so it doesn't get all over the rest of my stuff just in case we're surviving it's a zombie apocalypse and this is the only stuff i got with me uh that's also why i have a little edc tabasco because you never know okay this could save your life just like any of the rest of this stuff so edc tabasco guys step your game up um but yeah sharpie writing um i've got paracord in here a bunch of different stuff and uh, a bunch of good stuff and it, it comes in handy um also in here in this zippered pocket here, I have printed out uh, documentation of all like the gun laws in my surrounding area. Because a lot of police um, don't know the law. And so if they pulled up on you and you've got, you know, law abiding legal things to own on you, but they're, you know, rookie, they don't know no better. Um, they want to give you a problem. It's nice to have printed out legal documentation saying, hey, you're wrong. I'm good. Let me go type of thing so but anyway guys um hope you enjoyed oops, bumping the tripod hope you enjoyed the video um that is the the wrap up to my latest edc uh this bag again changes from time to time 
and sometimes I'll have more stuff in there, sometimes I'll have less, less stuff in there. Um, but really, actually now that I'm saying that, really this is the least amount of stuff that I always have in this bag. Typically if I'm gonna have a change, it's gonna be adding more to it. You know, depending on the situation. If, if I was carrying a Glock 17 that day, I would have this thing lined with a bunch, you know, five or six 33 shot mags stuffed in it, just in case. You know, if you're gonna reload, if you have to reload, you might as well damn reload. So stuff like that. But other than that, guys, that is the video. Again, not I want to say quick little video, but it's been 20 minutes long. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about the setup and, and the gear that I'm using and that I'm running. Uh, how do you run your bags? You know, whether it's an EDC bag, a get home bag, a bug out bag, whatever. Because uh, this is kind of a mini of all of those things. And uh, that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. Please remember to like, share, comment, sub subscribe. Oh, my God, I can't even talk. I apologize. But that stuff helps me out a ton, guys. It really does. Um, growing the channel here. Loving it. Love all the support. Thank you, guys. Um, please, please, please make sure that you click those first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given inalienable gun rights, and we all need to do that. And uh, furthermore, check out the other links if you want to support the channel. That being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.